Hey everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. Welcome back. Uh, this is JP, Linkster101. That is my sister, Abigail. Abigail. I don't know her Twitter. DNA thing. Gamer 90. Yeah, I don't know if there was a DNA gamer, but okay. Yeah, okay. Game. Just starting off, kicking off Even with the with game the main game. subject. Oh yes, uh, but before I begin, uh Elias, the man with all the magic and the tools. man with the brains and the talent. Yeah. The and tools and mm-hmm. wands and all that shit in his ass, all that. He's there. JRX4. The, the Twitch God? The tw- <laughs> Twitch God. Too soon? Too soon? Too soon? Jean shorts? Hang <laughs> <laughs> on my jean shorts. All right, everybody. Oh, so my sister's here with her jean mom shorts. And we just want to go ahead and get into this very quickly and cover uh, uh, a lot of range of topics. Of course, Abigail's very excited right now. Uh, because it was announced that a Spice Girls animated movie is about to Hell yeah. come out. And uh, I could give two shits about Spice it. Spice but... World. Maybe the sequel to Spice World, but just animated. I'm, I'm super excited. I think it's great. I think it's awesome. And I hope it goes very well for them. Aren't they fighting amongst themselves and shit? No. They, they're never fought. Um, when they split up, everything's been calm. The only one that has stayed active in the spotlight is the one that married David Beckham, which is Posh Spice, Victoria Beckham. And then uh, Scary scary Spice, Melanie Melanie B, something like that. And she's uh, a, sh- a judge on, um, what's that stupid show called with Simon Powell? Amer- American Idol or America's Got Talent, one of those. Yeah, oh. one of those American ones. Yeah, although she recently came out with some like gossip that she and one of the other Spice Girls had slept together. Wait, so why I would... go back to that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I believe it was uh, she had made an announcement like or something. Oh yeah, that, with the redheaded one. Yeah, the ginger, the time, ginger yeah. spice, Jerry, Jerry Howell, something like oh, that. Yeah, so, she looks yeah. nasty. She said that they they slept together. So for you know, she keeps them in the in the spotlight. Well, okay, I yeah. guess. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, yeah, but they got to make money somehow. Spice Girls, they're long and dead. And they did do a reunion tour as well. Yeah. The so UK. that went pretty well with them. Although the only um, Spice Girl absent was Posh Spice. Yeah. Because she's a she's a designer and stuff, and she's with her husband and everything. So Victoria Beckham wasn't. She does. She doesn't need the Spice Girls she anymore. Nah, she don't need them anymore. She makes money already. She does. All right, that's fine, I guess. Why you spice girls <laughs> but you wanted shit. to hear about the, the I, story hey, about two it. girls getting on all hands. Two hey. girls, one spice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is <just> good. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Uh, anyway, moving uh, forward, Abby. I don't know if it's the lighting, but you do look a little bit thinner. Yeah, I've I've, uh, uh, I've been exercising, guys. Um, I can't tell. And I've I let go of it. bread. I've let go of bread, yeah, tortillas, uh, all the good stuff. <laughs> tortillas. And, yeah, and, and arroz, and it's been nah, the, I can't stop rice. the most two miserable weeks of my life. Yeah, it's I, been, I'm, I'm pretty on, sure I'm, you'll lose a lot more if you just, you know, get rid of those yeah. jean shorts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving right along, we also have an announcement. Which is a Division movie coming to Netflix. So, uh, Los would be excited about this stupid shit. Uh, uh, it's a Tom Clancy. Uh, uh, yes. The original game, I think, from Tom Clancy. Is, there, is, is it? Yeah. 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 I thought it was like a whole different thing. No, it's, it's from Tom, Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy has like their own series. It's yeah. kinda That's like, what I'm saying. Kind of like Call of Duty has their own series. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Well, I guess it's coming out. Have they released a lot of details? It's coming to Netflix, by the way, guys. Uh, a lot of people are actually upset about that. Um, they said that a lot of things that go to Netflix, and apparently this project has been in the works for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, and they said that uh, due to it coming to Netflix, they're kind of unsure of how great it's going to be. Well, it's because Netflix gets a lot of shows, and some of those shows turn out to be like shit. I think it's <laughs> I think it's going to be good. Uh, the director for uh, John Wick is stepping in and directing and oh, okay. overseeing That's not it, a bad so it sign. might be good. And he's the one that direct, of course, John Wick. He's directed um, Deadpool 2, and he's also the one that directed uh, Atomic Blonde, although I haven't seen that movie, so I don't oh, know if that was that was good it. or not. Well, well, I mean, don't they have Amazon? They have Jack Ryan, which is also Tom, Tom Clancy yeah. as well. Yes. So, I mean, I, I guess, and that show was really bad. Supposedly, from what I heard, I don't know if Elias has seen it. What show? They're even the Jack well, Ryan. That's fine because they, oh, they're no, making it's a actually pretty season. good. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's really good, actually. So yeah. okay, so if it's really good, maybe this one has. I I heard it was boring. No, I mean it's not for like, like uh, kids or whatever. It's more for like mature adults. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's really fucking kidding me. I'll, I'll have Ruby watch it. <laughs> yeah, because there's like love scenes, but it's really interesting. It's like it, that Muhammad movie. That whole like. 
I guess the premise of it is like spying and sex. Okay. And what is so is Game it? of Thrones? Espionage. It's espionage, but it's also like the everyday person or man, whatever, going into like a, a, a being put in a, a, like in a position of like where he doesn't like is not supposed to be his type of thing, but ended up being his type of thing, kind of thing. Oh, so kind of like I'm good at what I do, but I didn't know I was good at what I do. Exactly. I guess. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, hopefully that that's a good sign for for the division when we come to Netflix. They're coming with a lot of stuff out recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, they still got the Cowboy Bebop's in the works, mm-hmm. um, so I'm really excited about that too. But the division, I'll watch it. I don't see why not. Now, if it's uh, coming to Netflix, it's you know when you pay for Netflix, might as well watch. Might it. as well watch it. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, also, something else that came out that um, it, I guess it was has been approved, which I don't understand why. In, in the certain aspect, I'll explain is Uncharted, uh, a movie is going to be uh, created starring Tom Holland. So Tom Holland is a guy from Spider Man. Um, he's really young. I think he's like 15, 16 years old, isn't he? No, he's no, he's in his twenties. He's, he's in his twenties. Well, I don't know how this is going to fit unless he gets super jacked up. Um, uh, from the games that I know in PlayStation 4, it's it, I, I believe the main guy is Tim Drake. That's his yes. name. Yes, so he'll be a younger He's Tim a, So I'm assuming Drake. they're doing this before the games? Uh, yeah, they're going to focus on a younger, a younger, younger version t- of Drake. I That's guess because he's like Indiana Jones. Because originally the the original script was like written for like a 14, 15 year old, but once they got Tom Holland actually hired on, they're like, yeah, you're too old to look 14, 15 is what they said. How the f- he looks 14, 15 for- I mean, in Spider Man. I mean, you know, so pretty much. I, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, it's it's a dumb move in my opinion. Um, to unless they're gonna do like a whole trilogy, has well, that they, been announced? Well, they said that the gameplay itself reflects in some ways a movie. So it it and people actually really like that about the gameplay that it reflects a movie. So in some ways, it's just like okay, it's, they're gonna make a movie. I guess. I I mean, I never really was into the Uncharted games. Not like that. I know a lot of people are. Um, yeah, I, I played it, the second one. It was pretty good. It's a, it's a, you know, apparently Drake is a treasure hunter, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the treasure hunter. Okay. So, like, that's what I'm telling you. He's, he's like, like a modern a t- day Indiana Jones. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like, uh, what's that uh, movie with Nicolas Cage where he's a treasure hunter? National treasure. National treasure. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's a modern day Nicolas Ace Cage. Ventura. For some reason, I thought you were gonna no, say No, that's Ventura. Ace Ventura is the pet detective. Yeah, pet that's detective. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's like. <laughs> Good movie. Check it out from the 90s when shit was good. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have a TV, though. Yeah. <laughs> we had to see it as much as Saldana, remember? <laughs> anyway. Shout out to Daniel. Yeah, Marissa shout out to Daniel, Gabriel. Marissa, and Gabriel. Um, anyway, moving forward after that. So not only has that been occurring in pop, but a lot of things have been happening in sports. So I want to send out a, a congratulations to my cousin Leo, uh, who lives in Toronto. Uh, he's experiencing experiencing an NBA championship right now uh, in Toronto. Me too. I picked Toronto. Um, yeah, you don't watch basketball. It don't and, matter. Uh, I still picked it. And you know what? I won. Yeah, I guess. She won. Anyway, um, so uh, shout out to Lowe's for opening stupid ass big mouth and now he's all quiet. Um, won't respond because he's a little bitch. That was him too? Uh, nah, Elias wasn't so much because Lowe's was like, it's going it's to go state national basketball association and ta 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 and ta ta just caca coming out of his mouth the whole fucking time and I'm just looking at him like you're a fucking moron because I know you don't watch basketball but goes to show you proved my point Toronto won uh, of course uh, the injury to KD and Clay Thompson did help a lot uh, but <clears throat> Clay Thompson was playing the majority of the games and they still lost so without at, those at injuries Oracle. do you believe they would have had a chance I think if, Ke- if Kevin Durant had been healthy and Clay Thompson had been healthy um they they would have won easily, oh, but okay. I think that it, when when KD went down, I knew for sure for sure Toronto was going to win, whether Clay Thompson was healthy or not. And Clay Thompson's was healthier for the 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 the, the, the first four or five games, and um, they lost, and they lost three times at home. So what? that just goes to show you. But Ka- Kawhi Leonard played an amazing game. Uh, uh, Van Bleet. Uh, um, played an amazing game as well. Uh, I feel really happy for Serge Ibaka, who played with Harden, uh, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and he actually finally won a championship. Marcus Gasol always liked him as a center. I'm happy he won. So the whole city of Toronto right now, plus the whole nation of Canada, they're just celebrating. Uh, my cousin Leo was sending me Instagram videos of exactly what was going on. That shit is oh, nice. fucking crazy. He called me up. 
like right after walking the streets and uh it was a pretty sight to see uh it reminded me even though i don't like baseball and i don't give two shits about baseball but uh, during that time frame when the Astros won, like uh, I, the city was super happy, and I really enjoyed that. The city being super happy and everybody getting together because of the Astros, even though I don't give two shits about the Astros. So this or is the baseball. first championship for Toronto. This is the first what? championship for Toronto and all of Canada. Oh, well, so no it's a pretty yeah. big thing. So everyone's excited. So it's, congratulations, Toronto Raptors. I have no work hate for hard. them. Uh, work hard. Uh, uh, they really did. Kawhi Leonard might be a free agent. Um, he has not told them that he's going to stay in Toronto. Uh, and then not only that, the Washington Wizards are going to give a big portion to the general manager, uh, Usajai, I can't pronounce his name, Usai Ujiri, um, and they're trying to get him to be president, president of the uh, basketball operations because okay. he did such a well job with, uh, uh, with Toronto. So that's still up in the air, so it might not happen. But we do know today, folks, today, uh, I know this comes out Monday, today's Saturday, but uh, – Elias is ecstatic at this point in time. He, his balls are like just clinched like this. His ass was like this. Like because the Lakers finally traded for Anthony Davis, uh, which is the well-known center for the New Orleans Pelicans. He is excited, ecstatic. Even though he says that they gave up too much, I don't mm. think so. Um, Elias, who did they give up? I believe there was Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart. Uh... Uh, Brandon Ingram, who has a heart condition. They so, so wait, you're saying that he's happy about it, picks. but Elias doesn't seem like that. Elias he's is happy about it because he, he's... He, yes, what? he is. No, he is. they're stupid. They should have gotten rid of LeBron. He's old. They, they got rid of Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and three, three first-round first round picks. picks, including the fourth overall from the 2019 NBA draft. Oh, okay. That is dumb stupid yeah. for one player. For one player. So, essentially, uh, the New York Pelicans have two first-round picks. They have the first-round pick and the fourth-round pick. And they also have Lonzo Ball, who I think is trash. Yeah, I don't like Lonzo. And Brandon Ingram, who has a heart condition. And then Josh Hart, I don't, uh, he's, he's a role player. Um, and, essentially, LeBron James has Kyle Kuzma, Anthony Davis, and himself. That right there already is a good team, at least a good starting team. All you have to do is put him with... Um, uh, if you want a point guard, you can always put him with Rajon Rondo, uh, who's very good about, at that, and he, he, yeah, he is still he's still free agent. And then you can also pair him up with, uh, I would say, a power forward that you can find the free agency. Uh, so that pretty much takes the Lakers off the Kawhi Leonard hunt, I think. I think they're going to stick with that and just try to build around LeBron James, uh, Kyle Kuzma, and Anthony Davis. So based on the description that Paul gave you, do you think it's going to work, this power trio combined with all the <clears> other <throat> I mean, yeah. I mean, I still think it, it could work, but I, it just this isn't like long term. This is all short term. Yeah, this it's is, all short term. This is all like win today and pray for tomorrow. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, but I mean, hey, you can't they, blame they, that. They are dominant players. Like okay. they are that good. Yeah, they're okay. that good. But A A D A D A D is he's already been sh- he's shown that he can be he can get injured. He got A injured lot. early. You don't want that. LeBron is showing injuries for the first time in his career where it's actually, like, making him sit out for long periods of time. Okay. Like, I don't know. They can stay healthy. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it worked for the Toronto Raptors. They went all in with Kawhi Leonard, and they won a championship. So, if Kawhi Leonard nah, leaves, I he doesn't, owe, he I doesn't compare owe shit it to, to Toronto. Toronto. He I doesn't w- owe shit to Toronto. He I wouldn't say, compare hey, it to I, Toronto, I brought y'all a championship in my one year, and I'll take Toronto my leave Toronto already had a stable I'll team. I'll take my leave now, yeah. Like, Toronto already had a team. I mean, regardless of who they picked in. If anything, they just upgraded their, their players. I mean, but it wasn't, like, to the point where – they weren't making the playoffs. They were making the playoffs. The Toronto was a good team, regardless. Yeah, but you got to remember the East is weak. I mean, they didn't show. They showed that it wasn't now. Not anymore this year, but before that. But I mean, we'll see what happens. So that's one of the biggest trades right now in the NBA. Of course, we have a lot of free agents looming. We do have that uh, on on a previous uh, uh, episode on the Hump Day Show. So there's a lot of free agents that are available. Jimmy Butler already came out. He said he will not be with Philly. So there is a good role player for for Philly to pick up if they have enough uh, cap space to sign him. Um, I mean that there's there. Uh, <laughs> um, so you know, there's a lot of things for the Lakers. Uh, the Rockets are, uh, came out with uh, the news that Chris Paul does not want to be here in Houston anymore. Oh. Not surprised. Thank God. He's not. He's, he's trash. He's not. 
<laughs> he's not. Tra- he, the thing is, he's not tradable with that contract. Not only that, D'Antoni, no? of course, uh, was not offered a they, contract. They gave extension. him way too much money. Yeah, they gave him way too much money. Uh, Typical um, Rockets. The, the uh, D'Antoni came out and and he wanted an extension, and the owner uh, Jeff uh, Fertitta, I think his name is Fertitta. Oh, uh, the new one. Furtata. Yeah, Fertitta. 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 Fert- Fertitta. Yeah, Fertitta. It's Fertitta. <laughs> uh, he basically came out and he was like, "I'm not paying you another fucking year." And you haven't even done this. So you have one last year to get this shit done. And based on whatever you do, we'll talk about doing the extension. Well, Dan Tony didn't like that. So he pretty much made it be clear, like, this is one one and done. That's it. That's good. Um, so in a way, it's good. In a way, it's not. Uh, it just it leaves the Rockets' future in the looming. I don't think they're going to be. That's good. I, I, yeah, they need to do something. They need to shake it up. Yeah. The, the, the whole team has been pretty much, like, running on, like, these – uh, what do they call Al- algorithms and all this shit? <laughs> no, it's yeah, true. No, yeah. It's true. The GM, that's that's this thing. Like that's, he's like a math major or some shit like that. I don't know. But Daryl Morey. Daryl Morey. So he 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 builds these teams like that, and like it's been years and years. And this algorithm and is just don't touch it. Like hello, Richard. like eventually, if this shit doesn't work, then it you, you gotta try something else. You gotta do something else. But if I, I mean, was if I if I was the owner, bye bye GM. I think bye bye, bye bye James Harden. Trade you. Bye well, bye. I, I think that's what but it's no, going to come down to. He's so much of a like uh, hometown favorite type of bullshit. It's stupid. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But as of right now, everything's up looming in the NBA right now. As far as KD is going to be off for a year, the Golden State Warriors are trying. They came out. They said they're going to they're going to give uh, Clay Thompson the max, and they're going to also give the max to uh, KD if they don't want to be there. It's just because they don't want to be there. Uh, also, Kyrie Irving came out. He said he's not going to resign with the Celtics. He's going to go out to Brooklyn. Not for sure. For sure, it looks like. 95% he's going to go to Brooklyn. Not only that, uh, the Knicks were, uh, the, I mean, the Celtics were trying to trade uh, for Anthony Davis, but that trade fell through because they didn't want to offer um, that young player, uh, what's his name, uh, from the Boston Celtics, uh, Jason Tatum. They didn't want to offer him in the trade, so when he was like, well, fuck you then. So um, yeah. that's pretty much it. So right now, Celtics are still there. We'll see what happens there. So it's a big mix-up right now in the NBA. It's kind of an exciting time because you don't know what's going to happen next year, and, and it's wide open. Like, now it's really wide open. So um, that's going on pretty much for sports. Uh, um, hopefully, because uh, there's going to be a big gap right now. I, I know Lowe's going to talk about baseball, but, uh, you know, um, – <laughs> And and there there's that, but uh, I can't wait for football season to begin in September. So I'm looking looking forward to that. So let's go ahead and move on to what I think is going to be our biggest segment here, um, and it's very important, which is E3, uh, E3 winners and E3 losers. So we're in gaming now. We are in <laughs> gaming, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm, I'm pew, not here. The, the whole sounds, but uh, pew, pew. what a week. Uh, what a way to kick off uh, uh, the, 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 the next half of the year. Of course, some of these games are not going to come out to the year after, which is 2020. Um, Elias uh, so favorably put it that a lot of CGI trailers. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and run down. Um, what do you think was the biggest loser of E3? Yeah, Abigail. What do you think was the biggest loser? At They're E3. all winners, guys. Oh. 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 Competition. Hey. <laughs> it's actually, it's a competition. Participation <laughs> awards all the way around. <laughs> um, you get a prize. You, you get, get a prize. Well, for me, I feel like uh, the biggest loser uh, was Bethesda still. Um, they came out. It was uh, stupid. They came out sorry. like, we're so sorry. We're humble. Everything is free, guys. And <laughs> that's basically what they did. Here's, I'm not even here's lying. Here's all these free mobile like, games. all these free mobile games. All these free. The, the Fallout 76, it's free. And it's like, dude, it, the reason it's free is because you guys fucked up. So don't come pamper, trying to get us pampered and stuff. Yeah, like, Dina. <laughs> like, it's just stupid. Like, it was so bad. And, like, the games, I did not think this stood out. Did this game stand out to you? Besides Doom. Yeah. Besides Doom, um, yeah. What game stood out to you? Uh, for me, I'm excited to play Ghostwire Tokyo. It is from the creators of The Evil Within One and Two, so I do want to play that one. Wasn't that the CGI where everybody was disappearing? That's another CGI. It wasn't a gameplay. Listen, I'm I not don't care. Say it was, I like Evil Within One and Two. I like. I those do like games, Evil Within so. One and Two, but I I don't I don't know. This seemed more like a. Uh, uh, suspenseful. That like, was the only game that I liked. Everything else is like. You didn't like Doom? Fuck no! That's a stupid, boring game. Who wants to just walk around? No, doesn't the guns don't reload? You just literally walk around, just. 
pew, 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 pew. That's all you do. It's boring. But some people like that. That shit is so boring. There's like, I don't know. It's, Bro, it's one of their I, I best can't. games. What are you talking about? I'm telling you what I'm talking about. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that the game is so like, it's boring. There's nothing to Such it. A hater, dude, you play I'm it for doing. five minutes. You probably played the whole game. All you do is run around, shoot everything, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. And I, and I, and I, and not only but the, like it. it just felt really bad because Bethesda's like, oh, oh, you know. No, you know what? I really hated more about that. I felt like it was even on Twitter. Like, it there was one guy during the whole like uh, conference is just like just you know. All up and down the do you know what I'm saying? Like they he would not shut the fuck up after everything they said. He was like, Woo! Yeah! Uh CGI trailer! Uh fucking uh an expansion for some fucking boring game. Like oh my god. It was God, for a mobile bro. game. It no, it was for it was for an Elder Scrolls game. Oh yeah, the Elder Scrolls. It, that fucking CGI trailer is like you. F- it looks all epic, like fucking, yeah, the like, dragon. Like a scene from fucking Game of Thrones. Yeah. You're fighting a dragon. The fucker is like fucking cat person is like cutting the. It's dragon. a panther. Fucking, it's a panther. Fucking it's still a cat. It's fucking cutting the fucking wing off the dragon. I'm like, it's a mobile game though. What kind of bait and switch <laughs> catfishing bullshit is this? But that's what I'm saying. And like like I don't that doesn't happen in your Bethesda game. Didn't, uh, and then like it, it's supposed to be like okay because they've been doing that for their games since like day one because like back in the days like you couldn't get that kind of gameplay in those games so you put it in a CGI trailer hype it up and be like yeah I'm I'm so hyped for this game when you actually play that game it's just you know yeah it's you're like, swinging the air hopefully you, you hit something yeah yeah it's, <laughs> It's the most, I don't know. Yeah, it's, hey, 20, loves, loves it's 2019. It's, it's not if you're going to do a trailer that's not going to be the game, <clears throat> just, don't just don't do it. But that's their thing, Elias. You can't hate on that. I'm hating on it. <laughs> well, I mean, look, Bethesda for me was the big one of the the, the main loser and, in all uh, of this. Oh, wait, I'm not done with Bethesda. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no, sweetheart. Look, <laughs> let's back it up a little bit. The other thing, Fallout 76. Stop. Fallout 76. No, that's what I, I, like, I They like came this, out. No, they came this out. This game is a fucking dumpster fire. Let me let, let me tell you why in 2019. It was a dumpster fire when it came out in 2018. They should have done what they did. 2019. All right, guys. You know the announcer's on stage. He's like, yeah. I'm going to tell you what we have now. <laughs> we have NPCs. Oh, my God. I'm like, motherfucker, you yeah. should have had that shit a fucking time ago. We have expanding storylines where when you talk to the NPCs, your choice matters. Your choice matters. <laughs> but, Woo! Hey, 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 fat ass. Woo! And I'm like, dude, this should have been on there. That's what I'm telling you. It was so bad. It and was then they're bad. Like, and then they're like, oh, and to top it all off, it's free. Yeah, it's, it's free like, for a week. It should have been free in the game to begin no, with. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. It's free for a week. It's not free, free. But oh, it's not free, free? Week. Oh, and the best part, they added a battle royale to it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's just bad. It was bad. I felt like they were the biggest losers. They I know, were. I know they there's were. a lot of everybody from Angry Joe and other, other YouTubers out there that are like, oh, hyping it up. No. No. It, it, it was a really bad, in my point of view, uh, from what I saw. It was just bad all around. They're the main biggest losers to me out of E3. The second uh, loser that I see, well... What did you think was the first time? Yeah, Abigail, what is your second pick as the biggest loser in E3 2019? Go. We have winners, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Winners. I guess I'll stick to the loser. Here's your ribbons, guys. Thank you for trying. You well, the right. second loser is right. Sony. Uh, <laughs> they weren't even at E3. Yeah, exactly. They weren't even Actually, at they, E3. Actually, they did the best thing. I mean, they were right. There was nothing to show, so why show up? Well, I mean, that just goes to show you, hey, man, they don't have nothing lined up. Uh, they they try with that whole Final Fantasy. No, thing. they don't have nothing lined up for this console generation anymore because they're getting ready for the next one, which is expected. Well, better for them but, to be prepared. Yeah, I get it. And what happened with uh, when Microsoft goes on stage and they're like, "Well, here's everything we're gonna give you in 2020, and here's our, here's our Xbox, which isn't gonna come out until the end of 2020." Okay, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Like, I'll get to that. So Sony so, did the right thing. Sony, well, in my opinion, Sony was the biggest loser. Uh, they didn't have anything to show, and it just proved it to it. They might be thinking lo- longer console, but they did the exact same thing with PS2. 
And with PS2, they still stay with it for like another two or three years. So, I mean, we'll see what happens It's there. the best-selling console uh, ever. PS2, uh, what's your point? It was. I mean, but still. It's the best-selling console ever. What's I your guess. point? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. for me, it was just like, they don't have shit to show, whatever. They Nobody did, had shit they to had, show. They, had, they, they did try to do that whole Final Fantasy trailer. They released it. And it was just like, dude. Stop trying. <laughs> so that's the second, my second biggest loser. We've seen this already. The third biggest loser, in my opinion, and you guys might give me some pushback, was Ubisoft. Uh, I felt like Ubisoft, uh, the whole presentation just felt flat, in my opinion. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just felt like they were just showing nothings. Um, nothing at all. Uh, I was like, why are y'all here? <laughs> Why do you have your own day? Like, you could have shown this with EA. Like, you're like, it's a waste of my day. <laughs> yes, yeah. And, I mean, they have that game, uh, uh, Ghost uh, Recon, ain't it? Uh, Breakpoint? Uh, yeah. Um, which looked interesting, I guess, because I like the guy, the actor from Punisher uh, and from The Walking Dead. Mm, what's his name? John Berthold? Yeah, John Berthold. Berthold. Yeah. Berthold. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh! Shane! Oh, Shane! Shane! I'm going to have sex with your wife. Oh, Shane! <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, uh, but other than that, do you did you find something memorable in Ubisoft? Uh, Just Dance. Just Dance? And that was, okay, and that was the most weirdest shit, the most awkwardest shit. They're like, oh, Just Dance anniversary. And then they all came out, and they're all, like, dancing in their little fucking costumes, and everyone at E3 is like, what the fuck it's, are y'all it's, doing? It's a, it's a game about I'm dancing. Like, I'm still stuck on t- oh, my God, dude, let it go. And then, uh... <laughs> That was awkward as fuck. So Ubisoft, another big loser. Uh, uh, well, in Ubisoft, what, what do we Just got? Dance is, is good, though. That, Just, it's exciting. You know that it's game is. is still coming out on the Wii? Yeah. It's fucking crazy. I guess. That's how big it is, bro. Man, yeah, I guess. It, it reaches big. through so, generations. And then another big loser was EA. <laughs> Damn, how many losers do you have? Uh, uh, I have a lot. All right, let's go into the winners. How about that? Okay, EA. well, let me just cover EA. Outside of the Jedi. Uh, EA is not a part of E3, though. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, but they did present before E3. Mm-hmm. Uh, the e- it was just trash. EA it was just play. Madden. Uh, the only game they had was Star Wars, which, uh, it, I mean, I'll give them credit. It was not complete, but some of the things were very much lacking. I was not impressed uh, with that Star Wars game. But we'll see what happens. Now, to the biggest winners. The number one big winner, hands down, Keanu Reeves. Um, Keanu Reeves uh, yeah. stole the show at e, uh, E3. He actually um, presented. He was not. Was and, like- and Elias was talking shit because it got leaked that Cyberpunk <clears throat> was going to show a trailer. And he was like... Rah, 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 rah. No, I didn't. And I I'm didn't, like... That is not... Like, no. Yeah, I wish uh-huh. trailers. Oh, you, Elias, wait, 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 wait. Is wait, this wait. information no, 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 factual no, no. and correct? Ain't nobody got mad because of E3 trailer leaked from so- Cyberpunk. What leaked from Cyberpunk was the, the, the release date. And the uh, and the collector's edition. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Elias was all upset, and I told him, "Hey, there might be more information, you know, that they haven't released yet, because they might leak you something, but they're not going to give you the full thing. It's just to hype you up." Sure enough, Keanu Reeves. Uh, oh, his that. name is uh, I know it's Silver uh, John Sil- Silver Fist or Silver John Silver Arm. Yeah, Arm. Like that. Like um, that, yeah. He's and we just find out he's going to have a lot of dialogue in the he game. He has a second most. He has a second game. most outside of the player. Uh, I'm excited. I am hyped. He came out. You're breathless. You're all breathless. <laughs> breathless. Uh, no, breathtaking. No, breathtaking. Yeah, breathtaking. It was. Whatever. really, I think he did awesome. Yeah, I think yeah. he did a great job. The, the banter, the conversation. He was knowledgeable. Like gamers I mean, he was, jumped on it because they yeah. know him from the Matrix. They know him yeah. from uh, John Wick. Constantine. Uh, Constantine. They know John him. Constantine. Uh, John Wick. John. And he's a good actor. <laughs> but to, this is his first game that I know of that he's actually being really heavily involved. His face and all that. Yeah. So, so I'm very excited for I'm it. I'm excited too. He seems to be mm-hmm. coming out from the woodwork and he's like expanding everywhere. yeah and and Bro. that's great sign to see that he's taken into the gaming community so that was great yeah. and not only that mm-hmm. right behind them uh, the i think the second best winners of the night were cyberpunk which is uh uh what's the name of the 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 um, I don't understand it. how you're ranking your winners and losers. The losers, you did nothing but the presenters, like the corporation or whatever. Yeah. But the winners, you're just doing individual? Yeah, individuals. <laughs> I, I, I'm doing that. It's just the way I am. Fucking disorganized. <laughs> but but I, I, liked, I liked the presenting. 
No, what I'm saying is, though, his losers were Ubisoft. His winner is an individual. Yeah, because they had so <laughs> many games that were just plain stupid. It was like, what the hell? And I, don't worry. I was going to say Xbox, too, with their whole stupid ass. Uh, they did have some good ones that I probably will try out, but they had a whole bunch of indie games that I was like, ugh, I guess. Because they came out, we have 60 games to show you. And I was they like, did okay. have 60 games. And they did show them. Um, <laughs> they yeah, sure they did, did. show them. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, um, what's... Uh, uh, What's the red? What's the name of the people creating or producing it? Or red? Uh, CD Project Red. CD Project Red. So he CD Project Red. It's a, the, the second best winner out of E uh, E three. Uh, they came out with a trailer, hard hitting. It was awesome the way they presented it. Uh, it was great. Cyberpunk. Uh, I looked at the, the the packet as far as everything that comes, including to the game. I, I'm thinking I'm gonna spend that eighty five dollars, eighty six dollars. It looks like it's gonna be an amazing game overall. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, and uh, the the third winner, in my opinion, uh, Elias is gonna get mad. Is the announcement of the console, even though, <laughs> even though uh, this um, is JP show, by the way, we, we got no say. Don't worry about it. Just no, let, no, just no, let no, him go. Is this, it's is his this, top three is of this factual? the worst and top <laughs> well, three I'm, best. I'm All right. I mean, you, you can give me backlash on it. I know Elias is gonna give me backlash on the Xbox. He said he was like, he didn't show shit, and I get that. But I think it's exciting to know that. Welcome everybody to the three way JP cast. <sighs> I think it's exciting for Xbox fans out there to let them to know <laughs> that, they're, that they're working <laughs> on, on, on a project and call Project Scarlet. They're working on a new console and that's going to be better and, and quicker and faster. And the way they presented this Xbox cloud, I think it'll be interesting even though they, they, they didn't show shit. So Elias... They didn't. Elias is upset because they didn't show shit. He wanted more and I get yeah. that. I get that. I but, think I would have wanted more too. Yeah, you, everybody mm-hmm. wants more. They didn't even name the console yet. Just Project just Scarlet. Like, Project Scarlet. Yeah, Project Scarlet. But, you know, who knows, man? We might have some more news later down the road of this year. We will. I mean, they, this that's the thing, too. With Sony not being there, it made E3 kind of, like, pointless now. This may be, like, kind of like the beginning of the end of E3. Like, the uh, I've been calling it, like, the Super Bowl of gaming. Because with Sony not being there, it's pretty much showing that we don't need E3 anymore. I mean, they never, they, I mean, they, they did, did, they did need them in the beginning, but nowadays they don't need them as much anymore. Especially with now everybody doing their, um, their like Nintendo Directs, uh, play, State of play, uh, PlayStation. Uh, what's the other one? There's another one that just came out. This uh, uh, Stadia Connect. Yeah. Uh, Xbox <laughs> has their, uh, I forgot their show. It's called. But it's getting to the point where, like, this E3 was slow. It was boring. The the only game, the it's only because it the didn't only, have nothing the that only you games wanted. that the only games that were interesting were games we already knew of for years. I mean, it it, it like Microsoft when it, like I think it was uh, Phil who said it. I'm not sure if it 100 percent if it was him or not. But he even said it like this E3 suffered without uh, Sony being there. Sony should have been there regardless if they didn't really have anything to show. And like, do you think? What would, what would they have focused on, though? If exactly. Had... It would have been the same thing what Microsoft did. It show you, like, here's a bunch of trailers for CGI's. You won't see gameplay. Uh, it's all coming 2020 and beyond. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't know the name of our console yet, so here's our code name. Uh, here's our, uh, our, uh, our staple uh, game uh, in Xbox's uh, terms. It's Halo. Uh, coming for our next console. No gameplay, but, you know, all in-game engine. Uh, it's just... It, it was boring, dude. It was two and a half hours of, of a commercial that really wasn't all that interesting. I, I, I think Elias has a point. He does have a point. It's a big point uh, as far as not having information for this year, uh, having things like consoles and games already ready to go. I get that, but this is just the hype of the train. This is the hype train. Yeah, it is. He, you know, you know who did the best job? Nintendo. Oh, no, and that's what I was gonna get to. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get to. The biggest winner. The so, biggest um, winner. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and it's not the reason. So, nin- so now that we're moving on from the Xbox console, Nintendo, I think was the biggest winner of E3, and I have to hand it to them because they went back to their staple and no lows, not because of Animal Crossing. Animal Stupid Crossing. Ass. Let's go. No, because animal crossing. No, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. Do it. Do it. And Carl's like, "What's the best game ever?" I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 a fun game. It's a stupid game. I would still play it. Um, but they came out with their staples, 
But that's and just because that's because that's you're a, their, main, Zelda fan. their main staple, and this is how Nintendo has always <clears throat> started. If you ever notice, almost every console they come out with is with the Legend of Zelda game because Legend of Zelda fucking sells. And it does boom, work. they hit you with uh, the uh, Link's Awakening and the trailer of Link's Awakening. The time and it looks awesome. It looks amazing the way they remastered it and remade it. It was just great. It it brought me back to uh, uh, when I had my Game Boy. Oh. And I used to play it like I, I'm excited for it. I, I'm gonna go buy the Switch. I know. I wouldn't. Did. I wouldn't put that as like my <laughs> exciting moment for no, no, no. Uh, Nintendo though. No, no, because no, no. no. But we I'm already knew of the game staple. and we already seen the gameplay. But Breath of the Wild, the I mean, sequel. That's is that their first direct sequel to a game? Yes, yes. to yeah, Legend right? of Zelda. Gun. That to me was the biggest surprise of Nintendo, and that's the reason why they won. Yeah, they never um, really do sequels. They the, the do like. Yeah, spin-off they do like spin-offs Final and Fantasy, it's different. Yeah. But this yeah. is a, a direct <clears throat> sequel right after Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild was an amazing game, beautiful game. One of the best games I've ever played in my life. And I'm 32, y'all, and this is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. And, yeah, y'all. And for it to be a sequel, and everyone knows Legend of Zelda, there's not a really direct sequel. It's like a long time has passed. Yeah. Like after o- o- Ocarina of Time, you had the Wind Waker, and it was such a long time, and it was because... There was also the- Majora's Mask. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, Majora's Mask is part of already. Of a I actually time. liked Majora's Mask. But it, it wasn't I'm really Majora's part Mask. of it, because Link was still young. It was a whole different aspect. He had to lift the Hyrule Kingdom. We don't know how many years have passed. It wasn't okay. a direct sequel. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but this is a direct sequel, like right after with back both, to back, back to back with Zelda being there with her little short hair and all these females like, where can I get that haircut on Twitter? Um, <clears throat> but funny? they yeah, came out with it. That. They surprised the whole world and they hyped people up for the Switch. Pokemon, we talked about this before. <laughs> They're pushing it. Giant Pokemon. Yeah, ain't nobody care about the Pacific Rim, motherfuckers. <laughs> Kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> Kaiju Con? No, okay. What I'm really excited for? Fucking Luigi's Mansion 3, bro. That's what I was going to get. Hell to. yeah. I, I that shit why. looked amazing. I don't like Luigi's Mansion. Luigi, Ma- uh, Luigi you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In multiplayer? There you go. Like, like finally a good uh, ghost hunting game? Fuck yeah, Ghostbusters. They were kidding. making the Ghostbusters. I know. Places. But no, no, yeah, that Gooigi game looked amazing. Gooigi. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 looked amazing. Uh, what else was good? Astral Chain, of course. Uh, no More Heroes 3 was looked good and interesting. Uh, so basically, uh, Nintendo's the, and they also their came out, presentation kind of like was the yeah. one that impressed you the most. So yeah, it was that? the best yeah. one. No, no, I was because, not, because well. all of it's coming yeah. out this year. All, all of it's of coming it, out for the majority. It's, it. not, it's not all coming out this year, but the fact that it's all coming out for their current console. Yeah. You don't have to wait like until 2020 okay. with, without a release date. It was it was like it was what E3 is supposed to be about. You show like one or two uh, 2020 games, which is Legend of Zelda, and, and then and you you fill the rest of it up with games coming soon. So that's what they did. They did a good job. Uh, I was hoping we would see like the like maybe Metroid. Some- uh, yeah, but not only Metroid, but like a, a collection of the of the other three. What's it called? Metroid Prime and Mm-hmm. Those other ones, the ones are on GameCube and Wii. Uh, I wish we would have seen that. Uh, but I mean, overall, they did a great job. They did, they did exactly what you were supposed yeah. to do. And, and they I, introduced I they introduced their new uh, North American president, uh, something Bowser. I forget his first name. Yeah, and uh, the Bowser was like, <laughs> yeah, it was it was funny. It was it was you know, kitty whatever you know. It's kids. Yeah. I don't know what type of kids that was. I was laughing. Uh, yeah. I mean, what else did they show? They showed they showed a lot. Uh. But the one that really yeah got my attention was like Luigi's Mansion Three and like okay. Astral Chain. Yeah, I um you know I gave it to I, I give it to them they 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 outside outside of Cyberpunk they stole the show. They made it worth. Uh, they made it worth it. Um, I, I think that uh, I mean they're they're pushing. Oh, and they also came out with Animal Crossing. Um, the information with with that and when it's gonna come out and that's in April twenty twenty. Yeah, and and Los was nutting all over his pants. And um, he know, was there, I guess. Was but, it? Uh, he was shorts. There. Yeah, yeah, you know, the shorts, whatever the PJs, whatever the hell what the fuck he was wearing. Were they his mom shorts? Yeah, he was. Oh, he was wearing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so dude, just so stupid. But uh, every time I go to his house, I wanted to choke. I was him. gonna tell you guys. Um, so what did you guys think of the? Because we were talking about it before we started recording. What did you really guys think about the Marvel Avengers game? Uh, Okay, yes. So um, that's what I was going to get to, too. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll tell you. But first, let's talk about the Marvel game for Nintendo. Because they did sh- they show gameplay for the Marvel Alliance. Alliance. 
it, it yeah, nobody cares, good. man. It's it, whatever. It it's, did not look good. It's at on all. Switch. It's specifically for Switch. It's a, it looks like a mobile game. GG's in the chat. Thank you for playing. Thank you for trying. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it was Thank really you. Bad. Next. But Square Enix came out with their uh, Marvel's Avengers game, which I thought, which was again a CGI trailer. No, actually, they said everything you saw was in game. So, oh. so even you, though it was like a trailer, like a CGI trailer, mm-hmm. it was actually game footage too. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So well, what's not to like about it? Yeah, and well, exactly. Uh, That's why I was I, like, I, mean, I agree with you. I was it. excited. I was pumped. For I was it. pumped for it. I, I was like, man. And then I go on Twitter, and then I see all you. Uh, this well, doesn't say, answer y'all, you. Uh, some of this y'all doesn't look bitches. like him. They don't look like Scarlett Johansson. Why does Why does Black Widow look like uh, what's his name? Fucking Bruce Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> why does Why does uh, the Hulk not look look like Marf, uh, Mark Ruffalo and it's like dude because it's not the fucking movie it's, it's the not. fucking game you morons yep. god damn and and you guys like try to destroy the hype y'all sent a petition to Square Enix fuck y'all yeah, y'all fuck little them. bitches alright yeah and Dina I'll, this isn't Sonic guys this isn't Sonic <laughs> well, actually this is kind of like Sonic, but that's what I'm saying. Sonic was I bad. mean look I'm, I'm gonna be 100% but Sonic there you. was a good reason I don't think there's a good reason for this Elias thing. doesn't okay here we go look, with Elias uh, the, the Black Widow face can do some work. Okay. <laughs> uh, Thor's face can use some work. Here, let me pull up the trailer for the people watching. Uh, who <laughs> so else? everybody's face can do some work. No, but the Dina's face could use the, some work. The other characters look fine. Hulk looked good. I think uh, Hulk looked. I Iron think everybody Man looked, fine. looked fine. Captain America looked fine. Uh, the, I think not even, like besides how they looked, the best part about this game reveal is knowing who's voicing them, and like it's like. Like it's uh it's two like the biggest voices in gaming. It's the guy Tro- that did the Joker. Troy Baker oh, and, really? and Nathan uh what's his name? Not Fillion. Uh shit. Nolan Nolan something. Uh, I forgot his name. But th- it's the guys that do Drake from Uncharted and the guy who does uh Joel from uh The Last of Us. And I like them. And, oh really? And and the thing is, like to I don't know, maybe because I grew up in the Nint- Super Nintendo era. Like, the graphics have improved to me. Like, I was, like, seeing pixel fucking faces, and now I see actual fucking faces. So, to me, it's like a big fucking jump. Fuck you guys. I'm old. Uh, uh, but, you know, to me, their faces look fine. They look normal. All right? I remember Master Chief, when he first came out, he was like a square fucking green piece of shit. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Now he's like a fucking... So, you people are bitching and complaining. It's just the millennial shit. I, I don't know it. I think it looks great. I'm hyped for it. And now that Elias told me that it's actual gameplay, because I thought it was CGI. It yeah, looked that I good. Thought I thought it was CGI. Uh, uh, but, I mean, the backlash right. was unwarranted. Look at his face, everybody on YouTube. Thor's face looks, what the fuck? He looks like a cross between Jesus and a homeless Jesus. He's supposed to be a god! But he looks so weird on like in the in the trailer. Maybe fix his face. Maybe it's, fix his face Chris, and Black Widow. It's Widows. not Chris Hemsworth. I need you to. It's uh, not Chris. I don't Hemsworth care about it not being Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> fine, I'll just have to get used to it. That's fine. <laughs> but anyways, okay, but, but, but Black Widow uh, for sure needs some work. Uh, the other thing too is, is this game is going to be an uh, online service type of game, oh. so it's going to be a co-op story mode. So it's like four people in a in a solo story as well. Uh. <laughs> But they already mentioned that there's going to be more characters coming out. Okay. Wolverine, Spider-Man. So, yeah, but then that also means microtransactions with those. So, yeah, of course. Now, they try to, like, cushion the blow by saying, like, oh, but we're going to have, like, free updates and, you know, n- nice little maps here adding to the story. Mm. But really, it's just, it's just covering up that they're going to be doing that. And that's fine. I mean, uh, I mean, same thing happened with the Spider-Man game on PS4. Um, with those fucking maps and shit. Uh, nowadays, yeah, I think- but with Spider Man, it's just it's a single player game. That's with true. with it was just the suits. Yes, they gave you like little different abilities, but I mean, essentially you web shoot. No, you could, the DLCs were expensive too. Remember, they were like oh, 20, the DLCs had like the story too. Yeah, but, the but from what I heard too, the the story wasn't like pointless too. It really wasn't something to buy. I, I if you feel had to. like we. Oh, we as gamers, we're older gamers, and as we have to get used to the microtransactions. No, I mean, I'm fine with it. Like, I mean, I'm not fine with it, but I understand it. And I also know that they do it because they want to make more money. But the thing is about uh, when it comes to those type of things, some of it, you can already have like a, a large chunk of it in the game already. Like, if you want to add on top of that, 
that's fine. So you're saying kind but of don't, like, but don't fucking like cut like it out because because of what <laughs> Destiny did to uh, what Call of Duty's been doing for years. Like they cut out like chunks of the game to sell it to yeah. you later. Okay. And I mean, it, it, it's something that it's uh, gamers have gamers. And once again, we oh, go speaking to, of Destiny, you know it's going free to play. Destiny two. I know. First, uh, I guess. <laughs> The, the whole Destiny Destiny yeah, the, 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 I can't wait for it to uh, to go. Uh, oh, why are you gonna join where, me? Where um, you can uh, do your cross saves or whatever. You can move your your saves to different platforms. Oh, so I can move from Xbox to. So with that, since it's free on PC, I already have it on PC. I just didn't want to do the grind again of playing like through the stories and shit. I'm gonna just move my save from Xbox to PC and play. Hey, it. Just yeah. come join me, dog. <laughs> And we can win. I, I'm, I'm, I was really good, dude. I was really, really good. Oh, yeah. man. My friends still make fun of you. Uh, <laughs> we used to man. play Destiny 1, and like, there's this part where you had to sneak through a cave. And then Pablo was like, shh, 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 shh. come on, come on, come on. Shh, shh, shh. I did not do that. <laughs> Yes, you did. I promise you, you did. <laughs> You're like, shh, 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 come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, I was talking. I was into it. It was so funny. Like, like we were really gonna like you know disturb them if we were to speak over the mics. <laughs> yeah, I guess I get really into. You it. can get into it. This is cool. Yeah, like, and, and like, sh- and like, I mean, I really, I really did enjoy Destiny One, even though the Hell story yeah, was me shit. Too. It was fun, and I, I mean, I, I, Destiny Two was just the biggest point. But let's not talk about that. But uh, um, I, I get your point with microtransaction, and then another game that Square Enix came out. Uh, which I'm excited about too was Final Fantasy. They also came out Final Fantasy Seven, the, the remake. But the thing that I'm having issue with it is that it's only going to be because the game is so big. They're gonna, oh, that game they're is gonna, ginormous. they're gonna release just two Blu-ray discs, and that's not even going to contain the full game. So you're talking about microtransactions. Well, we we don't know the cost yeah. yet, do we, of the final product? Mm, no, no. Because if they're going to break up that game, I'm not paying sixty dollars for each part. Oh, and that's the shit. thing. I think. I think. They're going to the new chapter one, chapter two, mm. chapter three, and you have to. So it's going to be chapter. like a, a to episodic. be continued. Yeah, it's episodic. Yeah, it's episodic. So I feel like overall. Do you really think that's worth it though? Because I like, would find you it worth liked it. long games. No, no, no. I, 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 I love the game. If the entire game is sixty dollars, but they give it to me in episodes, okay. Yeah, that's fine. But if you're telling me that it's per episode, then I'm just gonna wait. So all the episodes come out and they come and on wait a deal, like in a pack. And, and, then, and then I'll buy it because I. That's the one thing that people are very curious about with because Final Fantasy is such a long game, and even on PS, uh, it was two discs. It was like Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon was fucking long oh, as fuck. And then uh, uh, I couldn't even watch. I, I wish they would remake I was just that. Like, game. I'm leaving, Pablo. I can't yeah. watch you. I can't It'll be like four anymore. in the morning and I'll be doing it, waiting for that. Because you know how you press circle when the when the square goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'm out, Pablo. <laughs> and I, I'm a grinder, bro. I'll be grinding. The same thing with Final Fantasy VII. I'll be grinding and grinding and grinding um, so I can level up. So whenever I fought a major boss, it'd be easy ass whoopings. Mm. But um, at the end of the day. I don't, I don't think that's. That's, that's right. I don't think it's right either, right. and but it's because with the microtransaction, that's what they're coming down to nowadays. And I feel like, because uh, uh, Project City Red said it's not going to be a DLC, from what I understood for Cyberpunk. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, they're just gonna release the whole game, and it's gonna be, you know, if you want to be, you know, just a basic, okay. it's it's your little sixty five dollars. I'm gonna include the taxes already in it. How you doing? But I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get the eighty five dollar one that comes with the thing, the other thing, the other map. And other, like, I'm looking okay. forward to it. So the same thing is going to go with Final Fantasy. People are going to want to buy it, but they're going to want everything up front. And they're, they're going to jump up the price, but it's something we have to get used to. But I, I, unlike Elias, I thought EA, I'd give it a solid 7. Um, 7 out of what? Yeah, what 7 out of about? 10. Uh, EA overall. EA? Uh, I, mean, e, I mean, E3 overall. Um, oh. I, I forgot to mention Master Chief, but there's not much to mention because the, tra- the trailer was CGI. It's coming out next year for sure, and it's going to come out with a new console. They did announce that yeah, as well. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a launch. So it's going to be, you know, so it's going to be the launching of that game, which I'm not surprised. Uh, the trailer looked interesting to see Master Chief come out. And once I said, I've seen him in a fucking green fucking uh, 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 pixel block. block, and now I see him like, you know, now I'm saying, badass motherfucking bitch ass robot. Texture, you know what I'm saying? See the texture he's of like, his bitch, run! He's like, no, we fight, bitch. And then he's like, no, he's like, shh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I used to laugh at his friend because he used to make like this this uh, Asian voice. That shit was hilarious. I don't know if it was Asian or not, but it was hilarious, was. dude. It would fucking, cr- it would crack me the fuck up to this day. 
to this day, dude. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's all we have for you guys today, folks. Uh, what did you like most about uh, Cyberpunk? Uh, <laughs> I know Cyberpunk. Made, but... that's, that's it. And Nintendo. You like Nintendo because you have the Switch. Yeah. Did you like the the release of uh, yeah. Legend of Zelda? Of you gonna course. get that? I'm gonna play that. Okay. You better convince Robert to buy it for me. Duh. One or the other. Me too. Movement. Hashtag. Let's not start that again. You about to get destroyed. Uh, <laughs> just mentioned. You get Robert to buy it for me. Uh, yeah. The power. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, if you use it, you use it. Anyways. Anyway. Use uh, it or lose it. So thanks for watching, <laughs> guys. True. Please like and subscribe down below. <laughs> Uh, uh, support us. Uh, we are on Anchor, Apple TV. I mean, Apple TV. Are we doing a sh- uh, shout out? Do you want to do a shout out? You can do some of my shout outs. Let me finish up. Shout out. Spotify. What? Like the ending uh, shout out, like um, Carlos used to do? We, the we, final punch out? Yeah, the final, final punch out. We'll do the final. And then, uh, um, of course, uh, uh, Elias has his own Twitch channel. Please support him. He's trying to get that up from the ground as well. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash JRX4X. How are you doing? And there you go. Um, also, Abigail is on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Whenever y'all want to holler, talk to us, whatever. Uh, final punch. Um, I already know what mine's gonna be. I already know it. You ready? Go ahead. You ready? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I doubt I said that, dude. I really doubt I said that. <laughs> I promise you, they, they, a, they will never forget it. They I, always say it. It's either when Eduardo was coming into the house and I did that, but... No, I promise you, it's whenever we're in the caves, <laughs> Destiny 1. You do it a lot better than I do, Elias. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> That's my final punch. Uh, All right, where's your final punch? Uh, my final punch, uh, I am so excited uh, for <laughs> Final Fantasy. Um, I actually want to go back and play the old one. Uh, I just can't get my hand, but I think I'm going to start... It's going to take a long time. Yeah. Uh, but I also want to play Legend of Dragoon too. Okay. But I, I do want to get the Switch, so I'm going to try to get the Switch and get that uh, Chronos Trigger. I mean, not Chronos Trigger. Uh, what's it called, Elias? Um, uh, triggers Chrono. Oh, no, Oct- Octo- Octopath. Octopath. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get that. It's on PC right now. I need yeah. to save money for that, though. So go ahead, Elias. What's yours? Uh, Final Punch Out. Uh, Prey. Probably the most unappreciated underrated game I've ever played it's actually really damn good Brain, yeah it's actually really good really um, good it, it gives me headaches though um, I don't know if it gives you does it give really, you headaches no. it gives me, man, you know. it's super good yeah it, it, it's, it's, it's so the story's so good it, it reminds me of Bioshock yeah really. that's what I thought too when I played it yeah. Bioshock um, so it's really good um, it's actually free on Game Pass guys by the way one quick winner get, uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass it's so awesome um, so check that one out okay <laughs> bye and it's thanks bye <laughs> <laughs> you should get the Xbox Game Pass right <laughs> dude I, I'm sure it wasn't Thank you.